Hey guys, Joe and I coming in and got another battle replay for you here on Total War Rome 2. Welcome back to the Land of Sieges. Welcome, welcome back to the channel as well, guys. Alright, so we are in the settlement of Delminium. It is an inner keep map, but we do have a 2v2 siege here. Wow, we got some calf coming out. Okay, well, I mean, it's Saba. It's kind of, kind of, kind of known that if you play against Saba, Saba's on defense, you're going to see something. So, and we're seeing something. We're definitely seeing something coming out here. Desert Heavy Lancers, two units of Arabian Cavalry. Rib Camel Cataphract General, Sabine Camel Cataphracts, and a Desert Heavy Lancer. So we have two units of Desert Heavy Lancers coming out. Alright, so let's take a look at the armies. We have a Saba on defense, obviously, being commanded by Golix. All of what I just labeled or named right there. And he also has four units of Slingers, two units of the Sabine Spearmen. His ally is, is uh, Lord God King, commanding Gete. Getting in onto the attackers, we have a Carthage here being commanded by Araya, and he has five Libyan infantry, five Libyan... I'm sorry, five Libyan hoplites, four Libyan infantry, three Samnite warriors, one noble fighter, generals, a bodyguard, three Cretan archers, one Libyan javelinman, giant ballista, and a unit of the mercenary Celtic light horse. And then we have a Swaby over here. Swaby being commanded by Marum, Marum Tako, I think. Uh, he has five units of sword masters, one of those being the general, five club levy, four bloodsworn, one round shield swordsman, three Kimberly bow women, one longbow hunter, and a giant ballista. So, all right, guys, there you go. Army comps, and we're just going to stick in here. I'm not going to bother to cut out. Oh, wait, is he going back inside? Oh, they're going... What? Dude, a huge... Oh, my God, huge traffic jam right here. I don't know what they're doing. I think they're trying to get out, but they're actually... Look at this. They're dropping their own guys. They're running over their own men. That's hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious to me. Oh, we got artillery now firing in. Is that Swaby? Yes, it is. And he's firing right at the gatehouse. Oh, beautiful shots. Really beautiful shots. Yeah, I'd shoot there too. That's exactly where I would shoot as well. He's getting some of the units as they're retreating away. Really, really nice done there. nicely done there by Swaby. 43 kills already. Solid job. Solid, solid job. The Carthaginian Ballista does not look like they have fired just yet, but yeah, he is unloading on this Sabian Sally out that now appears to be running back inside. Now, I did see some fire coming from over here from the Hunters and the Kimby Bow Women. Let's see. They got three, three, uh, one, and zero. Okay, so they did kill some of the... I think there was the Arabian Cavalry over there that they hit. Shot still just plowing in here, though. Look at all the horses that are dead. Wow. Good shooting. Really solid job. All right, so we have Club Levy now chasing the unit of the Sabian Spearmen back inside. So a sally out that went wrong there. At least in the beginning, the sally out went wrong. But we definitely know that Saba has a ton of cavalry that he will more than likely make use of later. Uh, this is something right here that I have actually been seeing a lot more of lately. Slingers firing, archers firing, javelins firing at towers. You're not going to get any kills because they're shooting right into the front of the towers. They're not going to... Oh, well, maybe... Maybe now the, 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 the towers are being weird. They're kind of turning sideways, but no, they're still just hitting the towers. Still just doing the dam damage to the towers. Not doing any damage. This tower actually has some fire damage from the uh, arrow tower right there. But yeah, guys, make sure to turn off your ranged. If you're having them sitting up on the walls, make sure to turn them off fire at will because you're just going to waste ammo. They, may, they maybe get some kills. Maybe, but oh yeah, they got one. One kill out of all of those stones. They got five. They have three. They have four. I mean, yeah, I guess you could call it kills, but they're not really getting kills kills, especially when they were firing at the towers. Firing at the tortoises, much better of an idea because you can get shots in onto the units as they're pushing the tortoises up, but just not really, I don't know. I feel like the uh, ammo could definitely be used at a later point. Now, this is another thing that definitely needs to stop happening. People need to stop leaving units up on the walls here because these tortoises are getting real close and sometimes even though you may pull the unit down off the wall, the entire unit might not get off of the wall completely uh, before the tortoise gets there. Or even if a tower lands, they can get there. Like this slinger definitely wants to get off the wall. Really wants to get off the wall. All right, towers are going to turn in this direction. So that sally out has been completely turned around and sent back inside the settlement. Again, Swaby... Good heads up play there, just starting to fire his artillery right at that gatehouse with all that cavalry that was trying to come out. Very nicely done. Very, very nicely done. Now, I do see that Carthage has moved the unit of his Libyan hoplites over here. They are not the greatest of hoplites, uh, but they do have hoplite wall. 
so they can form up in case the cavalry decides to charge out. Obviously, you also don't want to charge cavalry into spears, but these guys are just getting shot, so maybe... I mean, I get his point here. I get his idea of... Uh-oh. Oh, Oh, no. Are we about to see what I thought we were going to... What I was just talking... We are! See? That whole sling down to 41. That was a full unit of slingers. Pretty much full unit of slingers right there. Completely destroyed. Cut to a third. A third of the unit left. But all right, here we go. Carthage starting to make his way through the breach. We have some mercenary axe warriors, some noble fighters right there. Slingers for Saba have pulled away. Now the attackers are going to start trying to neutralize this tower, but this slinger unit could be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, there you can see they're coming down off the stairs this way. Oh, they're running right into a Libyan hoplite unit. I think that slinger unit's probably going to get pretty beaten up. It might not be completely destroyed, but it's definitely going to get beaten up. Uh, looks like he's trying to... Is he bringing this slinger unit around? Oh, no, he's still trying to run the slinger away, but look at all of them stuck up on the wall there. More than likely would have been a much better idea was to have brought them this way, down the wall, down over to this staircase here and bring them this way, which I think is exactly what he did with this slinger unit. So definitely want to try and save your slingers, save your archers. All right, Swaby now getting up over here, knocking down a wall section. Very nice. Very, very nice. We have the Noble... Wow, Noble Sword General up at the front line here for Gete. I mean, Noble noble Swords, very, very strong unit. Ooh, got Archer Fire now coming there. Daisy and Heavy Bowman firing in onto a unit of Libyan Infantry, now throwing their murder sticks over here towards the Noble Swords. Did not kill a single one. My God. But there we go. Libyan Infantry going to try their best against the... Uh, the Noble Swords, I don't really think it's going to go very well for that Libyan Infantry because they're also getting shot. Yeah, they're getting shot. And they're about to re rear charge. So we've got some mercenary axe warriors coming over here. Going to charge in onto the back of that Libyan Infantry. Hopefully, Carthage has moved up more of his infantry. He has not. He has not moved up more of his infantry just yet. He's got his Celtic Light Horse making their way forward. Here comes the Cretan Archers. He's got his uh, Libyan Javelin men here as well. But here comes his heavy hitters. He's got his Noble Fighters, three units of Samnite Warriors. Artillery not firing yet. Still holding back on... The, oh, nope, never mind. He just fired. Okay, I heard the shot. Where are we going? We're going way back over here. Clipping a little bit. Killing a couple of those slingers. Okay, did he hit this too? He did not. Okay, I thought that he did. Thought that he did. So how many kills does he have right now? He's got one kill. Swaby's still sitting over here. He's doing a great job defending his artillery piece. Got two units of Swordmasters out here keeping an eye on that, on that uh, ballista. Now, the ballista could be firing in here if you wanted to. I mean, it's a bunch of Sabian spearmen, not really anything to be worried about. But they could definitely be firing in there. Uh, what do we have on the walls here? We have some more Club Levy. A unit of Libyan infantry has come over here. They got off of this tower here. They have neutralized the gate. Saba looks like he's just trying to rush units up here to try and keep a hold of the gate towers. But not with Sabian spearmen. He's just, you're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it there with Sabian spearmen. We're going to have the same problem over here. Saba, run these guys. Get them out of here. Yeah, you might be getting a couple of kills, but it's not going to be worth it. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not good. This is really not good. Already down to 72. They're starting to move. All these guys are dead. Yep. Oh, my God. Again, down to 45 with that Slinger unit. Speaking of Slinger units, did this other one die? Yeah, they did. Oh, look at this. We got the Celtic Light Horse getting inside, getting past that front line, squeezing right past that unit of mercenary axe warriors, getting into some of these singer, slingers there for Saba. He could keep going. He could definitely keep going. This is a slinger unit. They're done. Mercenary Celtic Light Horse, 40 kills. Keep going, boys. Keep going. Get into all these range units. We got another big volley coming in here for Carthage. One shot looks like it hit. Yeah, getting at some of the most, some more of those Dacian heavy bowmen. Look at the Celtic light horse inside. Where is Saba's cavalry? Where is Saba's cavalry? They are desperately needed right now. Down to 26 mercenary Celtic light horsemen. They're still moving along. Still getting kills. Still getting kills. Artillery bombing in here again. Clipping some more of the slingers there of Saba. Getting a little bit more of the Dacian heavy bowmen there as well. Ah, there's the cavalry. They came out this side. Now, I want to show you where they came out from. They came out from this gate way back over here. So, good job there by Saba. Really solid job there for, by Saba. Actually, he's getting into the ranged. Oh, man. Desert Heavy Lancers getting into the Sabian ranged units. These guys are all dead. <clears throat> Kimber Bowman are probably going to be dead. I think he already lost the Longbow Hunters. We have, oh, wow, we have Gete Cavalry out here, too. Noble Horsemen coming out. So, what 
big, big, big units that we have out here. We have Desert Heavy Lancers. We got the Marib Camel Cataphract Generals, Sabian Camel Cataphract, Desert Heavy Lancers, Sabian Camel Cataphracts, Sabian Camel Cataphracts. So he's got a lot. Oh, no. We got Desert Chariots coming out here as well. Not, they're not really that good, but Chariots, Chariots kind of across the game are really, really solid units. Really, really solid units. Swaby looks like he's having a tough, really, really tough time here now. Ooh, good javelin volley right there. Killing some of those noble horsemen as they are retreating away. They only ended up getting five kills. I think they charged into Swordmasters. Not really a good idea to do that, but here comes more Desert Heavy Lancers. Swaby is having a tough, tough, tough time. Still getting some shots in there, but this cat of... Yeah, oh boy. These Lancers are getting in there now. Coming around on this side, slamming into the back, getting into some of his blood sworn. Swaby looks like he is being absolutely railroaded right now. Wow, a lot of damage done. Carthage back over on the other side. Let's see what kind of ground he has made so far. Uh, he does have some of his Cretan archers here, one unit of them firing away. 44 kills so far. Looks like they got some shots onto the Noble Sword General. Down to 86 men. He has 100 kills though. Dacian Heavy Bowman over here firing away, getting some shots in onto the mercenary Sam Knights who are currently taking on some Noble Swords. Sam Knights currently winning the fight, but I think there was another unit that was in there that did a little bit of damage to that Noble Sword. These archers are probably going to get some really good kills here on that Sam Knight, though. Back over on the other side, though, Swaby is just in massive disarray. Lot of problems over here for Swaby. Noble Horsemen now going to come around. Are they going to charge? Hope they don't charge. No, nope, they're running. Swordmasters still have javelins. They could try and throw the javelins, but now they're being drawn away. See, this is this is one of the problems of dealing with cavalry. You you start trying to th maybe get the quick throw of javelins onto a unit of cavalry as they're running away. I mean, he may still catch this unit. Mm, not really. Yeah, no, he caught him in melee. No javelin volley, though. That's rough. That is rough, but they did catch up to the Noble Horseman. Very heavy shock cavalry, so these guys are probably going to lose a decent amount. Their melee defense is only uh, 22. I almost said 62. But here comes another unit, Sabian Camel Cataphracts, charging in onto this Swordmaster General. Big time charge there. Arabian Cavalry now coming around, going to get in onto the Ballista Crew and this really, really depleted unit of Kimberly Bowwomen. But I did see the, yeah, look at this, the Noble Sword General. Gone. Noble Sword General Forgete is being defeated. This is a huge opportunity for Carthage to really start pressing these streets. Really massive opportunity here. Swaby, you can see he's not even moving his units inside because he's trying to catch up and trying to deal with all of this outside here. This is just a huge problem. Huge pro- Oh, Javelin Volley didn't really kill very many. Here comes the Marib General. Trample! Trample! Use the trample! have to use trample they have trample right yeah they do they got it right there the horseshoe looking thing looking symbol i should say not looking thing looking symbol uh yeah unfortunately he probably would have gotten a lot more kills probably would have gotten a lot more kills there but this swaby force is really 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 in trouble really in trouble uh back inside like i said oh look at this libyan infantry coming around swaby paying i'm sorry Gete paying attention outside i guess towards his Cavalry, but nope, okay, he's starting to see it. He's starting to see it. Mercenary Axe Warriors starting to make their way back. They're going to cover the two units of Dacian Heavy Bowmen. But look at this. Here we go. Noble Horse again. Forgete coming over here. They're going to charge in onto some spearmen. Probably not the greatest idea. I think he, maybe he's trying to get the general. The general is right there waiting, waiting and willing to fight. Now, the attackers do have control of this arrow tower, so he will get some shots into that Noble Horseman. Uh, this Libyan Hoplite unit, honestly, I'd just swing them around over here and try and trap this Noble Horse inside. Swaby's actually pulling units back outside. He actually just retreated completely from inside the town, inside the uh, settlement. Ooh, look at that. Libyan Hoplite just got run over. Marib Camel Cataphract General, 133 kills for him. Getting rid of a unit of Libyan Hoplites. And it does look like the Ballista crew here is done. Swaby does still have one unit of Kimberly Bow Women left, but he is really just in tatters. Really, really, his army is destroyed. Noble Horse getting through. Going to get into that General's Bodyguard again. Huge, absolutely gigantic charge into that General's Bodyguard. These Hoplites need to get involved. Both units of these Hoplites need to get involved. I do see that Carthage is still making his way forward. And I don't know really what uh, what we have still back here. We have the Dacian Scorpion, 35 kills for him. 
Back over on this side, though, the Ballista crew here, 64 kills for Carthage, still making their way forward. We have another Libyan infantry here who's caught out a Dacian heavy bowman there. But Swaby, looks like Swaby's just the target now. Honestly, if I was the defenders, I'd come back inside. You need to come back inside, because look at this. Oh, what a move. So that unit of Libyan infantry came around. Look at what all it's blocking. Two units of mercenary axe warriors and a noble sword. They cannot get around. They cannot get around. I mean, they could. They'd have to fall back this way, though. Oh, we got Bowman. Got Daisy and Heavy Bowman starting to make their way back. I don't know what's left inside the town center. I have no idea what the defenders still have left, but I know what the attackers have, and it looks like they know what they're doing. Sam Knight Warriors making their way over here. Maybe one of them's going to peel this way. The other one's going to come this way. All right, hold on. Gete looks like maybe he's going to try and sneak around. Or is he coming around this way? I think he's coming back around this way. Cretan archers making their way up on the staircase. 112 kills for them. Here they come. They're going to get that scorpion crew. Yep, they got right into that scorpion crew. Taken care of. No problem. Noble horse still back over here for Gete. Just got destroyed. 83 kills total for them. But look at, I mean, yeah, this is, this is actually really turning around in favor of the attackers. I mean, balance of power has been in favor for them the entire fight. But that's pretty much because Saba brought a whole crap ton of cavalry. But here we go, another big charge coming in, Arabian Cavalry. Charging in onto those Swabian Swordmasters. Looks like they might have clipped a little bit of the Bloodsworn there as well. Here comes the Saba General, unfortunately charging in. Some of his unit did get caught up on the tower there. But Saba is really still in a big problem, big time trouble. Uh, but it looks like we're about to have a town center capture. That's the town center right there, and there's nothing here. There's nothing here. Wow. The attackers outsmarted the sally out. Again, the defenders should have come back inside. I mean, I know that they're just absolutely trashing this Swaby army, but it doesn't matter. It does Honestly, it doesn't matter right now. Huge hammer charge again. Sabine Camel Cataphracts, 444 kills. They're going to get a lot of kills. I mean, a lot of, I mean, Swaby looked like he was just in a, in a, in a really bad go. 483 kills for that unit, 101 there. The general, 268. So, I mean, a lot. the cavalry is definitely getting good kills. But this is over, guys. This battle is over. Unless the defenders still have something, some cavalry to bring back around over here to try and get back into this town center to save this fight. Carthage, big time play. That was a huge play there by Carthage coming over here and trapping the Gete forces from being able to get back inside the settlement or inside the town center. To capture it up. They're capturing. Yeah, Carthage is capturing the tower. Going to leave a unit of Cretan archers right there to capture it up. Not a problem. General making his way back over here. There's 12 left in the unit. They have eight kills total. I think his general is still alive, though. But yeah, Carthage just kind of walked right around all of it. So I guess the lesson in today's battle is uh, when your allies being salad out on, it's not a bad idea to maybe try and make your way inside the settlement. I usually say try and help your allies out. But um, Swaby kind of really just did not have a good, a good lineup. Over. I mean, I'm not saying his army was bad. I don't want to sound like his army was bad. He had actually a pretty scary army. Uh, but he was just lined up against Saba coming out over here. That just made it for a really rough go. I mean, once he started seeing the guys coming over here, maybe sending some units over here to try and deter them. But he did already have ways to get inside the settlement. So I kind of wish that maybe he had moved a little bit faster to try and get in there. But again, I didn't play in this game. So, you know, sometimes it's way easier to be like, oh, you should have done this. You should have done that. You know, in the heat of the moment, in the heat of the battle, sometimes you just don't think. You, you kind of get tunnel vision. Uh, basically what I'm going to say, the defenders got tunnel vision. I mean, yeah, they took out the Swaby army. That's great. But you lost the battle. This fight is definitely over. There's no way that any of this cavalry out here, as strong and as brutal and destructive as it is, there's no way they're going to be able to do anything to try and save this battle now. Carthage has complete control. Town center, towers here. Looks like they're making their way over here now to start capturing up this tower as well. So there you go, guys. I mean, that's one way to defeat a, a sally out. That is one way to defeat a sally out. Saba Cav coming back inside. Gete Cav coming back inside. They are too late, though. 34 seconds left. They got the Dacian Bowman coming in here, though. Dacian Heavy Bowman coming in. 64 kills. They're going to start making their way over here, try and neutralize the town center, but they're not going to have enough time. Nope. Nine seconds left. That's it. That's it. Oh, he's firing at the general. 
just as a big, like, ha-ha, I guess, or last laugh kind of thing, I think they just killed the Carthage general. That's crazy. All right, let's get into the ending army compositions here. Uh, we will take a look at Araya first playing as Carthage. Uh, 1,376 kills. I almost said 1,736 kills. 1,376 kills. Uh, he was the one that sent the replay in. Thank you very much, bud, for sending it in. This was definitely a really interesting replay to cover. Uh, I mean, it was a way to, to, to combat a sally out. So very nicely done there. Uh, his general only ended up with eight kills. The Gallic, I'm sorry, the Celtic Light Horse here with 45. Cretan Archers, 131, 114, 121. Pretty good there. Libyan Infantry, I mean, they did what they needed to do. They they did suffer some charges there from the Gete Cavalry. Uh, his Libyan Infantry, though, 237, 112, 100. Noble Fighters didn't really even get used. One of his Sam Knights there, 140 kills. Then we have Marmitko, Marmitko, I think. Playing as Swaby, unfortunately. I mean, but he's still got 1,000 kills. Still got 1,000 kills, even with all of that cavalry trying to get on top of him. 1,027. 48 for his general. 66 with the ballista, which again, back at the beginning of the replay, firing that ballista right into that gatehouse where all that cavalry was coming out. Great job there. Uh, his archers got completely destroyed. 69 on a swordmaster there. He's got some club levy here. 143, 163. Bloodsworn there with 103. Uh, getting it out to the defenders, we have Lord God King playing as Gete, 1581, 140 with his general before he got killed. One of his noble horse there with 164. Archers got killed. One unit there with 147, though, for the Dacian Heavy Bowman. Mercenary Axe Warriors, 122. His other two units of noble swords, though, actually did pretty good. 122, 318, very solid there. And then we have Gallix, which I kind of figured was going to have a ton of kills, 2,487 kills. 392 with his general. Arabian Cavalry, 110, 103. Chariots, 157. Desert Heavy Lancers, 209, 171. This is the big time right here, though. 273, 245, 558. Sabian Kamakatafrax, really solid job with his cavalry, though. Uh, but, yeah, he did not have anything really in reserve. Did not have anything in reserve, so he put a lot of money in in one basket. Put a lot of money in one basket. His, his ally, though, did have an okay army. I mean, Noble Swords are pretty good. The Mercenary Axe Warriors, I'm a, I am a fan of Mercenary Axe Warriors. Um, but, yeah, just kind of... It didn't really work out. Didn't really work out. Slingers didn't get a whole lot of kills. Being Spearman didn't get really anything at all either. So, all right, guys, there you go, guys. That is the end of today's battle replay. Hopefully, you did enjoy. Please make sure to hit the like button, drop some comments, share the video around, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, and as always, until the next one. Hey, guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it.